Ariel Alicia and welcome if you're new to the channel stick around if you catch a vibe subscribe if you're not new to the channel thank you for coming back all right so y'all see what the title say y'all know what we're here to talk about okay we are here to talk about bubble shoes and crocs okay bubble shoes versus Crocs. We're going to do our own little verses, okay? Just like over on Instagram, Swiss Beats and Timberland got their verses. We're going to do a little verses over here on YouTube, okay? <laughs> Bubble shoes versus Crocs. Okay, so let me start out by saying I have never, <laughs> ever been a fan of Crocs. When they came out years ago, like, I just, I never took a liking to them. I don't know. It just wasn't my cup of tea. It just wasn't my style. Fast forward to now, bubble shoes have come out. <laughs> and I'm like, ooh. I was mainly like, what are those? <laughs> so I first was made aware of bubble shoes through a haul. I was watching a haul, a Shein haul, and she had showed her bubble shoes that she got from Shein. And I had never seen these before. And I'm like, what are these? What are those? <laughs> these little balls. I'm like, are you, what? And so I, I'm automatically thinking like, how can you walk on these? They have to be hard, uncomfortable. But everyone that I seen who reviewed these bubble shoes would say that they were comfortable. They weren't hard. They didn't hurt your feet when you walked in. And I'm like, what? That ain't true, somebody lying. <laughs> so I was just so intrigued by them, you know? They reminded me of Crocs because just like Crocs, you can put charms on top of your bubble shoes. So they automatically reminded me of Crocs. And since I never took a liking to Crocs, I was surprised that I had kind of taken a liking to these bubble shoes, mainly because I was intrigued by them. I was very curious about them. So I went on Amazon and I ordered me two pairs. I ordered me a black pair and I was looking for a white pair, but I ended up finding these cream colored ones. So I got those two. So here are the black ones. And here are the cream ones. All right. So let's talk about these cream ones first. So these are the charms, y'all. These charms came separate. They had ordered these separately. So these are the charms that I have on my bubble slides. Okay, so <laughs> it's crazy that this is just like some rubbery plastic, <laughs> some rubber that we're walking on. And I'm like, are these house shoes? Can you wear these outside? Like, what, what, what is it? What is it? And so when I got these, I noticed that they were soft. Like, you can see when I'm pressing down on it, like, you can see how soft it is. Like, I don't have to apply too much pressure. Like, these bubbles are soft. Like, this is soft rubber. These are actually quite comfortable. They are actually... <laughs> quite comfortable I like these I like the charms um, I will say <laughs> these were very hard to get in okay because the um, the charms are circles you know the part that you put inside of the holes are circles but the holes on the bubble shoes are in the shape of a triangle so you're trying to put <laughs> these circles through these triangles and it may seem easy but it's not I had to literally cut <laughs> a lot of these triangles it's, it's rubber so you can cut it I had to cut a lot of these so I could get the charm in there like it was hard y'all it was hard but um I like these I actually like these I honestly I don't wear these as much I wear the black ones more than I wear these but these are these are soft. These are some soft rubber uh, bubble slides. I do like these. Now I don't have a lot of closed toe shoes. Let me say that I have some boots, some heeled boots, 
um, and about two, maybe three pairs of sneakers. <laughs> like, no lie. I live in Florida, y'all, so it's hot. By the way, right now, December 24th, this is Christmas Eve that I'm filming this on, y'all. It's like 36 degrees. At least that's what it was earlier in the day. It's nighttime now, so I'm sure it's dropped even lower. Mother Nature, God, Jesus, what's going on? We ain't never felt this type of weather <laughs> here in Florida, baby. We don't know what to do. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I got like two, maybe three pairs of sneakers in my closet. But overall, all of my shoes are open toe heels and sandals. I do not like closed toed shoes. I just feel like my toes, they feel like enclosed and um, like I, I call it, I like to call it close to phobia. That's what I have. Like, I feel like my toes need to be free. I need to be able to wiggle them and move them around. That's why I just love wearing open toe shoes, like closed toe shoes. I can wear them for a while, but then after a while, I got to take them off. Same with socks. I don't like wearing socks. Like, I just don't like nothing on my feet. <laughs> but I like these. I can actually wear these. So I like these bubble slides. Now these. These bubble sides, these are cute as well. I love these charms, okay? These charms actually came with these bubble slides and this actually what won me over actually, um, these charms, especially this pearl like bracelet with this bow on the end, like I fell in love with it. Um, but yeah, the charms won me over with these. <clears throat> now I gotta say these bubble slides they're a little harder than the cream ones they're not hard but they're firm okay they are firm okay if you see me like pushing can you see like a little bit of the resistance like when I'm pushing it doesn't go down as much because they're, they're firm they're firm um, over time, they don't soften up. <laughs> they stay this way, but they don't hurt. They're firm. They're not hard. Okay, so you can walk in these comfortably. It's just like with a mattress. Some people like a soft mattress. Some people like a firm mattress because that's good for your back. Um, and that's the way these are. These are firm. They don't hurt, but they are, you know, they're harder than these cream ones. They're not as soft as these cream ones. But I still like these. I still like these. So I was intrigued by the, the bubble shoe phenomenon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I guess they try to like take over the croc world or give the croc world some competition. You know, since you could put, you know, your little charms in there, just like the crocs. Um, I don't necessarily know if bubbles, shoes, slides, whatever, We'll give the Crocs competition because I feel like Crocs have been around for, I know they've been out before these, but they've been out for quite some time and a lot of people like Crocs. A lot of kids like Crocs, so I don't know. But you know, it's a good friendly competition. But yes, I do like, I do like these bubble shoes. I do, I mean, I have to admit, I do like these. I wear these a lot more than the cream colored ones, which is probably weird because the cream ones are softer. But I don't know, these just, I don't know, they're firm, the firmness feels, it feels good, I guess. I don't know, but I like them. So the bubble slides are good with me. They are good with me. Now, these Crocs. <clears throat> see if there's Crocs on the bag, I went to the Crocs store. <laughs> so, I originally was looking for Crocs because my son wanted Crocs. He put Crocs on his Christmas list. And so I had decided to give him um, an early Christmas gift. And so I had said, let's go to the Crocs store. I'm gonna get you some Crocs. I told my daughter I was gonna get her some Crocs too. And I was gonna give me some Crocs as well. So you get a Croc, you get a Croc, you get a Croc. We all get Crocs. <laughs> so that was their early Christmas gift, some Crocs. I was online and I had seen these 
Crocs online. So I already knew what I was what I was going to get when we was going to the store. I already knew what I was looking for. I knew what I wanted. Now, like I said, I've never been a fan of Crocs. They just didn't really catch my eye. But these in particular, these in particular just did something to me. They caught my eye and that was all she wrote. <laughs> now, I told you when I got these bubble slides, I was looking for black and white and I couldn't find, you know, really white. So I got um, the cream colored ones. Well, I got me some white Crocs. I got me some white Crocs, and baby, when I tell you, baby, when I tell you, oh my goodness. Hold on, let me, let me get them together, because I still got the uh, tag on them. Yo, these, yo, these are freaking fire the <laughs> oh my god i love these okay let's talk about it y'all let's talk about it <clears throat> let's talk about it so these are called uh the classic mammoth charm clog okay these i saw <clears throat> online they came in black white i think i seen some in pink it's like a hot pink fuchsia pink um pink is my favorite color let me just let you know that pink is my favorite color and i tend to get a lot of things in pink but i didn't want to get these in pink like just i don't know the pink just didn't appeal to me but this white did and normally i tend to get black you know when it comes to shoes i have a lot of black heels so i tend to go towards the black but since I had these black bubble shoes, um, I just wanted to get these in white. Um, I didn't want to get these in black. The black ones looked okay, but the fur on the black ones, I don't know, it just looked different. And then I felt like you couldn't really differentiate the black fur from the shoe. Like, I felt like it was just too dark. Like, I just wasn't feeling the black. But with this, I feel like you can see the fur you can distinguish the fur from from the clog from the crock and i just fell in love with it the fur on here the fur goes all the way around all right it goes across the top it does not cover the whole the whole crock it just goes all the way around when i tell you this fur is so soft baby this fur is so freaking soft oh my gosh and not only does the fur go around the fur is inside baby the whole shoe is lined with fur and i'm not just talking about on the the roof of the shoe i'm talking about all inside of the shoe the whole thing has fur all inside of it when you put your foot in here when you put your bare foot in here, you feel like you're walking on a cloud. You feel like you're walking on a cloud. I mean, we can only assume clouds are soft. This is what a cloud is. <laughs> this is what a cloud is. These are so freaking soft. Now, if you're going to wear these without socks, make sure your feet clean. Make sure your feet are clean. This is white, people, okay? So you don't want to get your white dirty. Make sure your feet are clean. Now, if you're going to wear socks with it, that's fine. <laughs> but I'm not a socks person. I already told y'all that. I wear open toe shoes most of the time anyway, sandals, heels. So, you know, socks ain't really my thing. I got a couple pair of ankle socks. Um, but wearing socks with these, I feel like, takes away from the awe of this crock <laughs> because there's fur inside there was no fur inside then you know wear your wear your socks if it was just fur on the outside wear your socks but there's fur on the inside and when you have on a sock you ain't gonna really feel that fur on the bottom of your foot you just not but when you have the sock off when you ain't got nothing you just got your bare foot in there this feels so good against your skin i'm telling you the fur just feels so good against your skin <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> I love this, y'all. I, I, 
I gotta put my foot in here now because these are so so oh my gosh these are I know y'all already seen y'all <laughs> y'all already seen it but baby oh my gosh these are so soft so soft well, don't let nobody tell you that they're not because they are if anybody tells you in any review or your friends tell you it ain't soft they lying so i'm wrong with their feet they lying because these are hella soft these are hella soft they're cute they're comfortable like i love it i love it i love it i don't care about not wearing white after Labor Day. Who really follows that? I mean, I think the older generation, who is following that now? Okay, you wear what you want to whenever you want to. Mm. These are so good. I'm so surprised, y'all, because I've never, ever thought about getting Crocs. I, I haven't. But just seeing these online, when I was looking for some for my son, I just was like, Dang, those look good. Now, <clears throat> would I put giblets in here? That's what they're called, giblets. I don't feel like I would put giblets in here. Now, if I did, it would be like <clears throat> the silver glitter, like bling. You know what I'm saying? Silver bling. It won't be no other color. There's not going to be no colors in this. Silver bling glittery bling that's what i would put in here if i decide to even put giblets in here i might not you know but if i do that's what it would be but like i said the whole thing is lined with fur inside on the top and the bottom you can even see like with the holes where you would put the giblets you can see the fur <laughs> you can see the fur in the holes yo so they have a few different lines of crocs that have fur on them so they this is the classic mammoth i seen another one called fur sure and then they have some where um you have the claw with the the ankle strap that there's fur like around the ankle strap and then like around like the inside of the top part but let me say the <laughs> Fur, sure. I think those are the ones um, that the whole thing is covered in fur. Mm-mm. No. I was not feeling that. The whole clog was just covered in fur. And to me, it just looked like a costume. It looked like you're wearing a costume. You're wearing a prop. Or, you know, it just... I wasn't feeling that. So the fur shirts are not for me. <laughs> to each his own. But they're not for me. This right here is a good combination of the croc and then the fur this half half and half works for me now i did see someone <clears throat> review um the mammoth and then they have put some giblets on the top fine if you want to put giblets on the top go ahead because i might as well but the giblets that they had that she had were fur balls and the fur balls were pretty big and she had three of them. So she had three fur balls at the top and it basically made the croc look like the whole thing was covered in fur up here. Cause you've already got all of this fur. Then you got three big balls of fur at the top. To me, you basically might as well have gotten the fur shores because that croc, the whole shoe is already covered in fur. I feel like it's a waste of time to get the mammoths and then put in fur giblets to make it look like, you know, that basically makes it look like the whole shoe is covered in fur when you put those giblets on. You might as well have just gotten the fur shoes are already covered in fur. <laughs> I was like, really? That's what you gonna do? I mean, like again, to each his own, but that's just how I looked at it. Um, you know, the fur shirts aren't my style, but I'm just saying if you were going to put fur giblets on top of the mammoth, you might as well just get the fur shirts. But anyway, so the croc versus the bubbles. <laughs> Y'all, 
I think y'all already know where I'm headed. <laughs> y'all already know what it is. It's the croc, baby. It's the croc, and I'm so surprised because I never, like, I haven't even worn these. Look how clean the bottom is. I've worn these, but these still look kind of clean. But I would never have thought that I would be in some Crocs. Like, I never thought I would own a pair of Crocs. Like, wow. <laughs> this is heaven. This is heaven. This is earth. This is hell. <laughs> I mean, there's a heaven, there's an earth, and there's a hell. You feel me? I mean, these aren't necessarily hell, but I mean, because they're not hard, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, it, one of them has got to be hell. So, heaven, earth, and hell. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what it is. So, Bubble shoes versus Crocs. Crocs is the winner. Yay! <laughs> and these were um, a Christmas gift to myself. Like I said, I had um, um, bought the kids the Crocs for Christmas um, as an early Christmas gift to them. And so these are an early Christmas gift to myself as well. Cause I, you know, I bought me a couple of things for myself for Christmas too. And so for me, everything that I buy for myself for Christmas, I cannot wear, I cannot use until after Christmas. So, <laughs> so stay tuned because I am going to be doing a video um, showing you all what I got for Christmas, the things that I bought for myself and the things that I received from my family. So today is Christmas Eve. So that video I'll probably film the day after Christmas on the 26th. So you should get that on the 26th, 27th. Um, but yes, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, then you must have caught a vibe. So subscribe. Y'all, um, I will have these linked down below if you want to go and purchase i'm telling you if you want to just purchase purchase one of these you're trying to choose between which one you want this is what you want <laughs> until the next time you guys please remember stay focused stay laughing stay yourself stay what stay fly merry christmas